Hey guys, so this is the part two of the Rand McNally, the Overdrive 7 that I just bought from Best Buy uh, just just yesterday, to be honest with you. This is the uh, newest edition of the 2017 uh, model that they actually make. I also went there and bought the uh, Wi-Fi backup cam. And so if you buy this unit only, be prepared that it's not going to work because but it uh, it only works with the overdrive so if you think you're going to use this with a wi-fi for your mobile device for your telephone or anything like that it's definitely not going to work because you need it with this particular unit here okay so basic uh, functionalities of it uh, after playing it with some time i found some pros and cons to it okay this unit here is designed to sit on the dash just like that However, since the Honda here is quite rigid, it definitely won't stick. But they do give you a little mounting pad here, the 3 mounting pad, which basically you undo that, you stick it to your dash, and then you apply that. I'm not very keen on putting anything onto the dash, especially if you decide to take it off. And as we know, technology gets outdated quite fast. So I'm going to move this aside, and I'm going to basically just put this right here. And kind of just let me show you some of the pros and cons that I found to the system already. Yeah. So I'll take the unit here and I'll basically uh, put that up. So I've already added the antenna and the the cable itself. And so I'll plug that into the cigarette lighter and it automatically charges the unit. However, if I if I look at that, I have this this unit here, just the housing itself. It's actually quite bulky. It's uh it's quite big is in terms of you know where it sits in terms of the placement of that uh, of the of the unit so I'll put that on it's kind of easy as in terms of stick okay so I've already connected it to my mobile device here my phone I have an older telephone I also have a newer telephone that I'm using to record this video so I wanted to see if it worked with the old phone which it did and so it connected up uh, just just fine to the unit there's no problems at all i found out there was one problem with this unit here was that once i connected this unit to my mobile device it was not able to connect to the factory unit's bluetooth and here's here's the thing it, it connected all my messaging all up in there it connected my phone as well all everything in terms of contacts are all in there I'm able to make a dial and so here's here's the thing if, if I if I call somebody I've already called myself it wasn't able to connect to the factory system so it was able to only play the sound from the back speaker on this particular unit so that was a negative aspect onto it the navigation system was okay uh, wasn't too bad it looks a little bit old as we know, Google and Waze, their maps are very updated as in terms of design, 3D layouts, and things like that. This to me looks quite uh, quite old. Uh, I don't necessarily like it. And uh, if I wanted to get out of this, uh, this navigation part, I actually have to push this top button here to back to home. And, and the plat but the platform itself is built like on an Android style where you're able to pull that down as we know and so it's kind of android platform okay so the camera because this thing also has a built-in dash cam here's the negative aspect of it okay so the dash cam since this since this unit is sitting at a straight angle if i decide to have this unit turned and looked at me just like that the camera itself is shooting out towards the right so it's not getting what's exactly in front of you so that means when you put this into your car your truck, any vehicle, you're going to have to put it at a straight mount if you're going to use the, uh, the, the camera for a dash cam. Is it good? No, because it uses just a standard, standard lens, which you're not able to adjust. So that to me is already a negative aspect to it. Yeah. Okay. Monitoring here for monitoring your vehicle, your diagnostics, you have to buy a separate OBD2 connector which connects to your car and will able to give you all these readings. But based upon the products that I bought from uh, the Rand McNally from Best Buy, I mean their products aren't cheap. These things are quite expensive because just their backup camera that I bought right here, this thing itself was already $100. This unit here was uh, $300. But the functionalities of it, I could get all these functions here in a mobile phone. And so do I really want to invest into it now? 
you know what, I'm kind of not too happy with the system. So I'm thinking about just taking it back and just to share my experience for those who are even thinking about buying this unit. Here's the thing also, when I decided to connect to the Bluetooth on my phone because it uses these two major functions, as a calling for to call any uh, to call a family or friends I'm not able to connect it to the factory Bluetooth so all the sound that I got from the call came from this particular unit the speakers in the back of there so is it worth it obviously not after playing with it for some time and so am I, am I having doubts about the system that I bought and connecting this oh yeah definitely because I know that once I connect this connect this up to the back of the license plate for the lens and using this unit it's actually quite outdated as in terms of the functionalities and the features of it so it's, it's, it's to, to me this system is quite old uh, even though it is a system for the 2017 it is uh, it looks nice to have something in your car as an added screen but the functionalities the feature of it to me is quite old and so I think you're better off to take your $300 for the unit, your backup camera for this uh, system, and to invest it in somewhere else. And so I'm not happy about it. I, I will probably end up, uh, I, will not, I will, not probably, I will take this unit back and to get my full money back uh, because the system is just, is old. The functionalities of it is very basic and it's not able to connect to your stock Bluetooth inside the car to play sounds from the factory speakers. Even if you decide to do the entertainment as well, you'll get the sound of the your the music or anything you play from the speakers built on this unit because it's using the Bluetooth from your mobile device to link it up. And once you try to connect it to your housing, as you see here, I tried to connect it and it obviously didn't work. This is the Bluetooth for the factory Honda Odyssey. And so it wasn't able to do uh, two things at one time. I guess maybe because the technology is quite old on this model, actually on this particular unit. Uh, however, they're still selling it uh, at Best Buy. And so that's pretty much it. This is the review of the Rand McNally uh, Overdrive 7. Is it worth the $400? No, it's not. I will definitely take this unit back and will not install the Wi-Fi backup unit. All right, that's pretty much it. Hey, thanks guys. My name is George.